Hi, this is Steve Turner with SVTPerformance.com, and we're here at VMP Tuning checking out HP Tuner software for Ford. So, HP Tuners was founded in 2003 by three individuals who met on a forum that, that isn't much unlike the SVT Performance Forum. The three guys just wanted to tune their own vehicles, and they built this software and hardware that ended up being a very, very good tool for both shops, the pros that do the tuning for a living, and the racers like you guys that, that are going to be doing the tuning yourself as you make changes to your vehicle. The product ended up being very scalable uh, from just a simple bolt-on car all the way up to a, a twin turbo car. And we have customers now making over 2,000 horsepower with the stock ECU and the GM side of the business. And we, we fully expect that our Ford product will be as capable as our GM as, as we start building more and more features into the product. September of 2013, we brought an employee onto HP Tuners that's really helped accelerate our Ford development. Up until that point, we had 2005 to 2010 Mustang and pretty much 04 to 08 on the F-150 supported. Since then, we've added all the Coyotes, uh, we're working on the EcoBoost, we're even working on the 15 Mustang at this point. We're really excited about that. But where we are today is we have a device where you hook up to your laptop with a USB cable on this end, and an OBD2 cable on this end, and you use your laptop to read the PCM, you get the file into the software, and you can make changes on your laptop, flash directly to the PCM. And that flash is very quick. You don't have to wait minutes flashing this, then the PCM. It's just a very quick flash, and that tune is then in your PCM. You can go to your data logging, test the performance, make further changes from there. So the way this works from a pro professional perspective is you can have the, the car on the dyno. You, you make your changes. You go test on the street, make sure you're meeting the performance requirements that your customer is, is wanting and send the car along his way. When another car comes in the shop, you use the same interface. You don't need a separate handheld and you can tune any number of cars with the same interface. For you racers out there that are going to be doing this yourself, you have two choices. You can tune the car entirely yourself or you can work with one of the professional tuners via So here's the process for when you first hook up. We hook up our USB and our OBD2 under the dash. We click on flash and read vehicle. Click read and the laptop does the work. It's going to read the entire PCM and allow you to then edit it on. So now that we have the read on the laptop, we have put this together so that if you're familiar with browsing the internet, using Microsoft, Excel, Word, things like that, that it's familiar. And what we're able to do is we're able to group all of the parameters together. For instance, if you're wanting to change the timing, you click on the engine tab, the spark tab, and you go to your spark table. And you can look at this in a couple of different ways. You have the, the tabular Excel sort of sheet, if you want to just add some timing in a, in a particular range or remove timing in a particular range, you highlight it, you make your changes, you can pull one degree by putting a negative one, hitting plus, and everywhere that you had highlighted it just pulled a degree of timing. If you want to change it by 10% or set it to a particular value, those are all options as well. And these options are available for all of the maps that we define, it's not just the spark table. The other neat thing with our maps is that we do have 3D mapping available where you can take a look and kind of do a sanity check and make sure you're not having any spikes or anything, any anomalies that, hey, this just doesn't look right for this particular map. Uh, you also have control to, to take a look at it from various angles. So with our spark table, the, the other neat thing is these axes are also editable. So if you don't want this axis to be 
550 RPM to 7000, you simply click on the engine RPM and you edit your RPM range. And if you want to extend it to 8000, you can do that. We also have some smoothing functions and interpolation functions that you can uh, do between different bounds that will automatically smooth or interpolate. So we typically end up with a cold air intake or something like that. And we need to remap the ma mass air transfer function. And in order to find that, we, we very similarly to the timing, uh, you go to your engine, it's airflow related. So you have your general, your idle, your airflow, fuel, spark, torque management tabs, airflow. And then we have our mass airflow versus period. And this is your mass air transfer function. And we can look at it in, in a, a couple of different ways, uh, like all of our maps. And in this particular map, our mass air curve is right here. We don't see any spikes. We would we could utilize, uh, to tune this, we can utilize mass air uh, against fuel trims. We can uh, compare actual air fuel versus commanded air fuel. There's a number of ways to alter this table. So... We, we always hear, uh, uh, see on the boards, uh, clutch protection and things like that. Um, and we do have the, those items defined as well. And they're in the transmission tab. Uh, under torque management, you have your clutch protection parameters uh, that are all editable right there. If we do end up with a uh, trouble code or something like that, that, that we do need to turn off or something to that effect, that's all on, under our engine diagnostic tab. And this is primarily going to be for the strictly the race cars, um, but we have our DTC list that we can pull up and disable whatever codes that we have. Uh, we can also utilize the scanner to read the check. One, one really cool feature that we have added is the ability to change units just by clicking on the units. So for this uh, injector flow, flow rate low, it's currently displaying in pounds per second. Just by clicking it, we can display it in kilograms per second, grams per second, pound per hour, pound per minute, pounds per second. And we can generally do this with any unit that has a clickable unit scale all throughout the software. So this feature allows you to make changes. And when you save the, the file, there's a marker put in the file and the software shows you the various files that you've made so you can go back and take a look at the, the different changes that you've made to each given file. So you can revert back to any file that you want at any time. This works great if you're dyno testing and you make three or four changes and three files back you made the most power, well you just go back to that three files back, you load that up in the editor, flash it in the vehicle, and away you go.